could sit right here and think a thousand miles away. I could sit right here and think a thousand miles away. Since I had the blues this bad, I cannot remember the day. I wish that I had never was born. I wish today that I never was born. To see that man kill my baby and he's gone. I'll never get a sweet man like that anymore. I'll never get a sweet man like that anymore. He had to sing all the women was calling for. I'd like to explain you something about the old-time honky-tonks. When anyone said honky-tonk in the city of New Orleans, of course they spread it out in different places. For instance, they spread it out mainly in Memphis, like Jim Command and that bunch. A honky-tonk, for instance, would say Kaiser, one of the biggest honky-tonks in New Orleans, and Spanos. They were terrible honky-tonks, where occasionally be nothing for a man to be drug out that dead. The place would be wide open just the same. No trouble happened. They ran 24 hours a day. Mostly at night was when the attendants were there. The attendants were such as some of the lowest caliber women in the world. Some of them maybe didn't bathe in six months. And maybe they wouldn't bathe then but only in a tin tub. And the men, I have personally seen some of them that was actually lousy. They would reach up maybe in their collar. If they'd seen a decent person come in and form a dislike for them, and get one of those educated louses, I guess, and positively throw on to the person when his back was turned. That was the many that became lousy and didn't know how they got to be lousy. The main intake for these punky tunks was the revenue that would come from the little pitiful gambling games. A lot of times waiting for a sucker to come in. But if one came in, don't worry, he would be really taken. They never had a chance to win. And the odds were so much against an stranger because of the tough caliber that hung there. And of course, there would be a few drinks bought and so forth and on.